in the next five minutes, we will be diving into the art of eliminating a Star Wars destroyer with a beautifully simple yet impactful look. Sit down, relax and enjoy. Okay, so here we are inside Blender 3.6 and uh, for this tutorial we'll going, we're going to be using Cycles Render Engine, so let's go. I'm going to create a new collection called Lights and uh, we're going to be using this uh, destroyer ship from Star Wars. Uh, you can find this model uh, download link in the description. And uh, for the lighting, let's uh, pick up some references. Uh, first, I got this reference from a uh, real NASA picture. Uh, here we can see that we got the sunlight here coming from above. And uh, we got these hard shadows here. We got the light of the, the light bouncing here on this white metal. You can see the bouncing light here. And also I got this reference where we can see also the same uh, this uh, sunlight coming from above but also we got this soft blue uh, light that comes from the air atmosphere okay so let's replicate this inside blender real quick so first of all I'm gonna create a new camera and let's press Control Alt Zero. Okay. And let's press N. Let's go to View and lock camera to view. And let's choose a cool angle. And let's go to the camera. And on clip N, let's add one more zero. Okay. And okay, I like this this angle. And let's go to the viewport display and put the best part out on one. Uh, let's switch to the render view and we won't see anything because we don't have we have no lights here so let me put my cursor here uh, shift a light now let's add a uh, sunlight okay here we got it okay so uh, I'm gonna put the strange on 10 and uh, let's see how we can make this looks good as you can see, we got this really good model with a bunch of details and really good texturing. So well, let's make this look better. So I'm going to drag this here. Okay, until we got this really cool shadow here. And uh, maybe let me turn this like this. And okay, this is more interesting because we got this this part completely in white, completely illuminated by the sunlight. But also we got this real, really big shadow here, and we got also here the the blue lights of the flame engine, and also we got here the shadows of these uh, of these cannons. Okay. So uh, now I'm going to create the the planet light, okay? So well, let's go here. Uh, let's I'm gonna put here uh, the cursor, Shift A. Let's go to s another sunlight. Let's change the name to uh, I don't know planet light. I'm gonna turn off the main sunlight for now. Let's. Uh, Go to the light settings and let's make this uh, like a natural color blue, like this one. Maybe not too much saturation. And uh, let me put this here. Increase the strength to two. And uh, let's increase the angle of the light until we have a soft light, okay? Let's put this on 25, okay? Now let's put this underneath the, 
the ship and move this here okay uh maybe let's turn this here uh, all right we can play with the light rotation until we get a uh a different result so maybe turn this here like this until we we leave this really dark area okay and that's it if you want to learn how to create this epic cinematic with the asteroid belt and volumetric lighting check the description for the link to my advanced star wars course in the blender and after effects dear artist thank you for joining me today if you found value in this content please consider liking and subscribing until the next time and keep creating